Hello and welcome to lesson 4 of 3D drawing for your model railway. In today's lesson we're going to look at using centre point circles, fillets and offset construction planes. Okay so let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is create a sketch again. We're going to place it on the bottom plane and then we're going to find circle, centre point circle. So we're going to move this down to the origin position. You can see it snaps into that middle and then we're going to drag the circle out to whichever diameter we want. We're going to set a diameter. We're going to use it in N-gauge. I'm going to go for um, four millimeters. Ooh. I'm going to change it to four millimeters and then we'll zoom in on our circle. Okay, then we're going to extrude again, same as we were before, upwards, and we're going to extrude up to about nine millimeters, and then click on OK. So the next thing we're going to do, and that's the main body of the uh, the gas bottle. The next thing we're going to do is create another new sketch on the top surface. Okay, I'm going to go back into using our centre diameter circle and then we're going to create a circle on the top that's going to be 1.5 millimetres and then we're going to highlight right click extrude again and we're going to extrude that one upwards by so yeah, we'll go 1.5 millimetres again. That looks about right. Okay, so if we look at that, you can clearly see we're starting to build up the shape of the gas bottle, but it doesn't really look like what a gas bottle would look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to round off this shoulder here. So we're going to use up the top here a new tool called Fillet. And then we're going to select the top edge. And you can see we've now got our arrow back again. We're going to change our view to side on and we're going to drag that out inwards and as you do as I do that you'll see that it starts to round off that top shoulder okay I can keep going until eventually I get this error comes up saying uh, the fillet champers could not be ordered to return to success a successful solution essentially what I'm trying to do there is I'm rounding off too much that it can't then compute at the top here so obviously I don't want to do that so I'm going to give it somewhere mm, about 1.5 millimeters Okay, so looking at that, in N-Gage, you could probably get away with saying, yeah, that looks sort of a bit like a gas bottle. To me, I think maybe this inside diameter needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go back in my history. And I'm going to change that. So I'm going to go back to the drawing down the bottom here. I'm going to right click, edit sketch. I'm just going to increase the diameter of the circle. So I'm going to double click on the number there, the value. I'm going to increase it to two millimeters. Finish sketch. That looks a little bit better to me, a little bit thicker. Now in N-Gage, you could probably get away with just printing this off and saying, yeah, that's my gas bottle done. But in anything bigger than N-Gage, this isn't going to be nowhere near detailed enough. So we're going to add a bit more detail into this. So we're going to start by drilling out the top here. So we create a new sketch, select the top face again, go back to the center point circle, select the center point, dragging that across and I'm going to go to 1.5 millimetres. Okay. Now I'm going to right click extrude and I'm going to extrude that downwards by 1.5 millimetres. And I'm using the cut function so I'm going to essentially delete this this middle section. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a, a cutout in the side here so that the user of the gas bottle would be able to attach their, their hose to the, the valve on the top. So I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to use one of the side planes. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to use the tool we used in last lesson, which was the center point rectangle. I'm going to align it to the, the origin so I know it's in the middle of the bottle. Dragging that up, I see the blue lines being built as I come along. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle 
in the top of the gas bottle. Doesn't matter particularly what size it is at the moment, unless I was trying to do this accurately. And then escape, I'm going to do right click, extrude. Now at the moment, that drawing is dead in the center of that gas bottle. So when I drag it outwards, it's going to cut through that, the, the rim that we've drawn here. And now we've got that cutout we were talking about. Okay. Now if you wanted to add in a little valve on the top there, you could just create a new sketch on that top surface. Create, we could use a center point circle again. Just make a little circle, maybe half a millimetre in diameter. Right click in the middle, extrude. And then we can drag that up to change the view so we can see it. We can drag that up a little bit so we can see we've got a little bit of a valve on there. Now you could go into a bit more detail on that if you wanted to. It depends on how detailed and what scale you're going to model it in. Okay, the next thing is at the bottom, these bottles aren't... Um, flat on the bottom what you've actually got is there's a cut out here because the, the bottles are oval in shape um, I'm not going to model the cut out in the bottom but there is like a little cut out that goes all the way around the outside so I'm going to use a new tool up top here I'm going to go into construction offset plane we're going to use the bottom as the plane that we're offsetting from and if I change the view you can see now that I'm creating this orange this orange plane here is offset now from the base. Now I can drag that up to the whichever height I want. I'm going to go to minus 1.5 millimeters. So it's bringing up the bottle 1.5 millimeters. Click on OK. Now you can see that that plane now sits there. I can now draw on that plane by just going up to create sketch again and selecting that plane okay so to create a little cutout I'm now going to use the center point circle and let's change the view we're going to select the center point we're going to drag it out to slightly below the diameter of the bottle which we know is four millimeters I'm going to change it to 3.8 millimeters and I'm also going to create a second circle and I'm going to drag that bigger than the, the, the bottle itself what that enables me to then do is select both the, the, that inside plane there, not the inside of the circle, but the inside of the two circles. If I do extrude again, and I change the view so you can see down on the side, I'm going to extrude upwards slightly by 0.3 millimeters, and that's cutting because it's red, you can see it's cutting. Click on OK, and I've now got that little cutout in there. I'm just going to use fillet again just to round off that edge and I'm also going to press and hold shift and select the other edge as well so I'm now changing the rounding of both edges I'm going to just bring that in so it's curved in slightly okay now also on these gas bottles you've generally got a rim round the inside so we're going to use the same technique again I'm going to create a offset plane from the base I'm going to drag that up about halfway up the bottle okay and click on okay and then we're going to do create a sketch again we're going to use that plane that we just selected use the same technique we're going to use center point circle and we're going to drag that out and this time I'm only going to go draw the one circle I'm going to do it slightly bigger we're going to go for 4.2 millimeters okay now if we zoom in again when we select the profile now what we're selecting is that circle there right click extrude this time I'm actually wanting to join so I'm going to drag it up by 0.2 two millimeters again I'm going to tell it to join so now it's adding material on there click on OK and I'm going to round off those edges again using that fillet click selecting the top edge and the bottom edge dragging them in ever so slightly okay so now we've got a reasonably detailed gas bottle and you can go and add in any other details you wanted um, it's completely up to you
Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button.